Welcome back, my few booty dolls, and to others, welcome. Tonight I will tell you a couple of horrific tales that originate in my home state of Nebraska, as I will be going there for a convention called Camp Icon on Saturday, February 9th in Omaha. Hopefully, I'll see a couple of you there, and maybe I'll even make a few new subscribers. I will be hosting a panel at 9 p.m. called the Horror Hour, in which we'll all sit around in a circle and we'll all tell scary stories, true and fake. Anywho, turn off the lights, grab a blanket, and let's get started. Legend has it that there was once a teacher in the 1900s who taught in a small schoolhouse in Portal, Nebraska that only fit 30 students. She had a hard time keeping her students under control and on days when they were particularly naughty, she would stop the lessons and make them put their heads down and turn off the lights. One day, the children were misbehaving again, and so she made them put their heads down on the desk as usual. However, on this fateful day, she had a hatchet hidden under her desk, and she went around the classroom and chopped the heads off each student one by one. The schoolhouse that she once taught in is now called the Hatchet House. However, this terrible tale is not over, as after she had murdered the students, she had cut out their hearts and tossed them over a nearby bridge. That bridge is now called Heartbeat Bridge, and legend says that if you stand on this bridge at night, you can still hear the beating hearts of the children who were murdered on that horrific day. And Portal is now called Papillion for those who wish to seek the bridge and the house. Greta and William were a wealthy couple who owned a house in the center of Omaha's downtown area in 1887. It is said that when the stock market crashed in October of 1929, William Hall went insane after losing all of his investments and fortunes and murdered his wife Greta in a crazed frenzy. After hearing the news of his sister's death, John Martin vowed to avenge his sister. He arrived to the manor and used the same axe that William used when he murdered Greta, Greta to kill William. One week later, John's body was found at the Hall's gravesite with the exact same axe embedded in his skull. It is said that William killed John in revenge of John's revenge of Greta. As the mystery of John's murder was never solved, it is said that his spirit still lingers around the mansion every October. This mansion is now a haunted attraction called Mystery Manor, and every October it is spooked up, and it welcomes hundreds of tourists every year to venture through the jump scares and twisted rooms. When the manor is not turned into the attraction, ghost hunters like to visit with their equipment to see if they can detect the spirits of those who were murdered in that October of 1929. I will post links to the music in the description below. If you want to watch my channel continue to grow, please subscribe. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you liked Skelly here, give it a like, and I'll see you all in the next video.